Hi there, sweet, darling, precious, divine being that you are. Yeah, take a nice deep breath. Breathe into your heart. This is all about you. Now, my topic. Stop being hurt, abused, or and defeated. To be defeated means knocked off your feet. When you are firmly entrenched in what is natural, authentic, and divine, no one can knock you over and no one can hurt or harm you in any way. And what happens is People are so easily defeated by words, by a statement, by a fear. And one of the things you need, to, I would suggest, because I know what I'm saying and teaching could be like outrageous. It it's, uh, goes against some of these things I've been learning and everything. Who cares what you've been learning? I mean, is it true or is it false? Does it empower you? Does it depower you? Does it bring you health and vitality or are you sick? Take a look at your health profession, you know, professional. I hope they're vitally healthy. Otherwise, don't go there because you don't want their medicine, all right? And when, when we're hurt by, it's usually by what someone does or what they say, and then we believe it. And then we then suppress ourselves and then we torture ourselves with emotions. And this is what emotions do. I define feelings and emotions differently. I mean, that's my way. Feelings to me are natural. And, and as I share in my flyer, in fact, if you want, just email me and I'll send you uh, uh, my latest brochure flyer on some of the things that I'm offering to you. And my work is based mainly on advanced metaphysics, Essene wisdom, and Vedic bhakti teachings. That's not limited to, but on mainly because as a spiritual sleuth looking for clues, um, I like ancient wisdom. And I'll tell you why. Because when you can find really truly ancient wisdom and how indigenous people, uh, so many, had the, the ancient wisdom was how they lived their lives. Because then we decide they weren't civilized, so we better take them over and civilize them. And the word civil means barely nice to each other. Polite, barely polite. Okay. And if you want to know what you're manifesting, you, you might want to look at the words you're using and what they mean and how you react. Emotions have to do with our reactions to what's happening around. Like if, say, if here comes a little breeze, oh, it's going to be windy. Oh, oh, it is it windy? No, but it's going to be. Well, is it now? No, but is it? It's going to be. It's like I was talking to my daughter, Rebecca, great person I must say and um, she's um, she because she counsels people also and this person came up to her and was just frantic and miserable and terrible about what could happen and Rebecca said well are you all right now she said well she's all are you all right now well then this is are you all right now well yeah well just be in the now. Do you know if you're consistently in the now, all is well? So when do you leave the now is when you go into the mind. And then the mind sucks your energy out because the body operates on oxygen. So when you're in nature and you are in self, it's not about going out there in meditation. It's not going out there anywhere. I used to think it was going out there because we're all taught with space, the next the next final frontier is this final to whom and what because there is from where I am there is no outer space for where I am there is no any of that from where I am all is well and glorious 
oh well you're not realistic you don't know about the real world that's going on what are you ignorant of what's happening in the conflict how come you're not a nervous wreck and and tortured by all of this it's not happening now how are you right now are you okay now see what is it that's causing the trouble you see it's those beliefs those concepts so when we feel hurt oh they hurt me how did they hurt you well they said this and that I've been fortunate enough to be called every filthy name you could ever think of every wonderful name and word you could ever think of but what are they sounds with words that have definitions definitions they have meanings that have been given to us and programmed on all levels possible of the the consciousness of this mind virus implant because you don't need to be programmed with any information or knowledge you are wisdom you are the divine you are the mystic you do have we would say magical powers, but we call them magical, but they're not magi. The magi were magicians and astrologers using all of those programs, in a sense. And, and who the divine magic is how you let go and let the divine solve your problems. And then you don't have problems problems are a math thing and mathematicians love problems and because they get to then play in the mind and how smart they are with their numbers and their numbers n-u-m-b-e-r-s you're not a number and you're not a number and you're not a blip on somebody's computer screen and you're not a pixel see these you have to know the d difference and you take a look at what they're living like in china flashing lights animation no nature of course we would not have any nature but all the slick and the clothes and the food and the thing and the this and the card and the fast and the doop and the bop and the beep, 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 bop. wow how dumb how stupid and, and when you call it stupid, it's stupid. And when you take your power back, you take your life back. And you take back all of this, con this, this conceptualizing and our, and our consent that we are agreeing with. Because agreement creates reality. How to stop being hurt, discouraged, depowered, defeated, is believe nothing. And just notice whatever people say and what they think and what they do is coming from their mind. So why should I take it on? And misery loves company. Have you ever noticed? And so someone who's angry and upset, they want you to be angry and upset also. Why? And when you take back your life, you become an aesthetic. You are, so, you are feeling because you are feeling compassion and love, but you don't take on heartache. You don't take on their problem. You don't take on their disease, dis-ease, lack of comfort. You know what's true and what's false. And you know it and you feel it. And yet you override it with your thinking and your analysis because it's good business. Is good business and 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 you know it makes good money, and then this is what it is. Yeah, I like my child. They have a lot of money. They must be great. You know, you have a lot of money. You must be fabulous. Really, people steal money. People steal it from each other. They lie to each other to get it. They kill other people. What they do, and they and what they do is this is how they live their their. This is who they are. Because it's an animation. It's a false reality that has to be promoted every single moment. You have to be bombarded with lies constantly, constantly, constantly. These pictures, these animation, these supermodels, these super sports, these super celebrities, all they're not real. They're paid. They're acting. 
actors. You get it? They're performing. This is a theatrical performance that we're doing. This is teatre. It's theater. It's a um, hypnotic trance. It's a trance dance. And when you do transcendence, you transcend the trance dance, dance and density. And even when you know how to be in your body, and you know how to be in the earth, you don't even feel your body because you don't have, because it's not even gravity anyway, it's density, but you don't have the heaviness. And, and people are carrying these heavy thoughts and these heavy duties and these heavy jobs and this heavy mentality and a heavy past. And we got to save the earth. We got to save, leave it alone. Quit torturing the earth. All you have to do is get out of your own way. And how do you do that? When you know who you are and you honor that. Otherwise, it's just theater.